Hi guys, I'm Dan at VintageVelo.org and today we are going to discuss whether these things, e-bike batteries, explode a lot. Uh, now, um, these have been in the media a lot recently, uh, causing um, house fires, a, a prolific amount in London especially. Um, and I thought it was probably time to uh, take a little deeper look at e-bike and e-scooter batteries and the risk they pose to us avid cyclists. Um, now, um, for sure, We've probably all seen the media evidence of these things blowing up. They do go off with one heck of a bang on a lot of flame, a lot of smoke and high heat. They've been responsible for a lot of house fires as well. And uh, if like me, you know, you see that kind of stuff and you just start to get rather concerned uh, and you start checking things out because there's, you know, there's a lot of headline clickbait around this kind of things. Um, and uh, I was looking into it. I've done a, a few e-bike conversions uh, using conversion kits, things like that. They do come in for a lot of criticism. Um, and I figured it was time to take a close look. Now, thing is with e-bike batteries, the number one cause of e-bike battery explosion, and we're talking e-scooters here as well, um, is of course using the wrong charger to charge your battery. Um, now, what usually happens is, um, now if you are a regular cyclist, you've just got the one e-bike, you've got the one charger, it's very easy to keep the two relatively close together, you always use the same thing. But in a busy household where these things are being used day in, day out, as commuter bikes to school or to work or things like that, or e-scooters, uh, whizzing around the streets day in day out it's very easy to get the charges mixed up and that's where a lot of problems happen especially if you damage your charger you buy another one second hand you know on ebay or something like that or just try and source one from somewhere you really don't know that you've got exactly the right one let alone the right amps you know th this is all about you know you charge one of these things a lot of people put them on overnight the correct charger knows roughly how much is in this and shuts off before it gets anywhere near the exceeded charge limit put the wrong charger in there it doesn't know um, and you can run the risk of overcharging your batteries and then kabloom uh, they can let go now it's not just these big batteries like this that can go. We all know a mobile phone battery, if on the wrong charge, can blow. Laptops can get hot and blow up as well. Anything basically with a rechargeable battery, you plug it in with the wrong thing, you run a risk of it blowing up. But there's no doubt the prevalence of explosions and fires due to uh, e-bike and e-scooter batteries has to be addressed. Um, now, as well as I mentioned these kind of things, other than overcharging, the next biggest risk of explosion is damage to the cells of the actual battery itself. And, uh, you, you know, you'd look at one of these things and you'd think, crikey, you know, how can you cause these things any damage? They're pretty robust, okay? Uh, they don't just break if you drop them on the floor. Um, but, you know, you've got to think, if it's on an e-scooter, you know, I see kids bunny hopping up curbs, stuff like that. They're using them all the time, day in, day out. They don't really care. Um, and that kind of thing can actually cause damage to the cells. Then you charge them. There's a, a leak, uh, positive, negative leaks, things like that. And then it all goes wrong and kabloom, another fire. Um, so always check your batteries, especially after a crash. Make sure there's no cracking, no impact damage, anything like that. If you do see damage, don't mess around, buy another battery with the charger. And that's the other thing as well, if your charger gets damaged or you lose it, just buy another battery and charger. I mean, they're not crazy money, okay? We're talking about 130, 140 pounds. And that's not an awful lot when you consider the risk of blowing your house up. Um, so if in doubt, change the two, the battery and the charger at the same time. And don't just rely on the fact that you emailed some guy on Facebook Marketplace and he knows what he's talking about. You know, uh, that's not a good idea. Uh, likewise, same thing goes for those guys who think they can build e-bike batteries out of cells and make them up because, hey, you know, they do it on their remote control. No, no, no. Anything like that is a real bad move and then the charging itself um, pretty simple on one of these things uh, you know you plug it into the charger um, and then you plug it into the wall always charge it into the battery first into the wall and power on second not the other way around because you do get a spark or two if you do it the wrong way around so charge into the battery first into the wall hit the power and then I would advise don't leave it on overnight 
Uh, these things will fully charge in three or four hours, okay? Um, check it after a couple of hours. Have a little feel, if it feels too hot, turn it off, check it out, get some professional help, but don't leave it on overnight. Leaving one of these things on overnight, you're completely reliant on the electronics cutting off the charge when it's uh, fully charged. And that's, uh, you know, a big risk for me. And then uh, lastly, on top of that, um, these things, you know, they come off. Um, you know, you've got to, normally on any of these, you've got a little key, and where's this one? Uh, it's on the uh, actual, um, bike itself but the little key you turn and that lifts off so you can charge this or take it with you or do anything like that best practice just charge this outside you know or um, well out of the way of anything uh, anything damageable like in the garage in the center of a concrete floor something like that um, like the chances of anything like this going off if you follow all the correct advice that's regularly available online um don't take my word for it i am no expert i've simply observed the correct um safety advice that comes with these um and is obviously um easily uh, resourced online as well um but yeah charge them outside plug the charger in first the battery then turn it on at the wall and uh, yeah just monitor it charge it for three or four hours not overnight not indoors and certainly not like if you're in a flat or somewhere you know are uh, in your by your exit door so if it goes off you can't get out of your flat these kind of things i do think um you know given the prevalence of house fires caused by exploding batteries it's probably not going to be too long um, before insurance firms stop paying out on house fires caused by these things. Um, so that's probably something else to bear in mind um, that, uh, you know, charge it outdoors. If anything should happen, then you'll reduce uh, your risk of injury or damage to the property just drops so massively. But there we go. Um, just a quick one there about the safety of e-bike and e-scooter batteries. Just look after them and respect them. They are dangerous things if um, abused or damaged. All right. Anyway, thanks a lot. Uh, glad you watched. Uh, do like and subscribe for anything that's maybe a bit cooler and less dangerous to do with vintage bikes. Thanks a lot.